It's all about iOS 14 official review. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is all about iOS 14 official review and we are going to talk about its best features. Apple has released iOS 14 to the public. That means it's available to all iOS 13 supported devices. So it has released at the exactly same time around the world. So if you are not seeing it, just go to setting, then go to general, then go to software updates and check for an update. Now other than iOS 14, Apple also released iPadOS 14, watchOS 7, and tvOS 14 also. So it's available on a lot of different devices, a lot of new updates. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's new. Our first new feature is widgets. Now you can add this little widgets with glanceable life info about the weather news, you name it, right to your home screen. There are two ways to add them, hold down on the home screen when everything starts to jiggle, tap the plus button in the upper left and pick your favorite widgets, I'm super into the battery percentage. And if you want to be depressed at a glance, try adding the new dynamic time screen widgets, which shows you how long you have been on your device. So and there is another way to add, all you have to do is sweep left to right on the home screen to the widget screen. And then hold down on the one you want and drag away. Another feature is app library. Organizing app into folders. Now Apple does that for you. Swipe to your last page of apps, then swipe one more time and you will see the new app library. This places all your apps into automatically generated categorized search for the app up here or pull down to get a long list of now let's talk about the hide app pages hold down on the home screen then tap these little dots and you can select which app pages you like to hide now you can sweep to the app library when you need apps no more pages let's talk about the picture in picture mode if you're watching a movie on your iphone but needs to switch to the instagram app to check some post, Apple's new picture in picture mode means you don't need to hit the pause button. Instead, you will see a flaunting screen over your home screen. You can resize it, drag it around and control video playback. The next one is approximate location. This is one of the best new privacy features instead of giving an app your exact location which can often reveal your home address. You can now share your appropriate locations with any app that requests your location data. Go to settings, privacy, then location and switch off precise location on the apps where you like to limit this. Our another feature is translate. The Translate app has a simple, easy-to-use interface that allows you to select languages to translate to and from at the top. An option to either type text to the translated or speak it aloud after tapping the microphone option. This app can translate to and from love in different languages. Text translations can be typed into the Translate app, which is useful if you needed to paste something from a website or document for a translation. To enter text, just tap on the enter text wording in the app and it opens up into an interface where you can type something or paste it in with the tab. You can even do voice translation. You can tap the microphone in the translate app and speak a phrase out loud to have it translated into the targeted languages. For example, if you have an English and Spanish selected as a chosen languages and ask where's the bathroom, the app will provide the proper response though in the style banner. So this much for today, give thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and let me know your thoughts experiences on iOS 14 as it's my first YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Bye.